Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi there. Happy energy reading. Yes, yes. Who's getting crappy sleep? Me. Yes, yes. I am hearing cases of crappy sleep. So, um, of course, all this has to do with all of just all of this energy that is abound and going around. Woo! These are days. And just when I think someone, just one person that I know might, just might not be experiencing this shit show. Nope. That doesn't happen. I don't know anybody whose life is in complete and total review right now. I don't know anybody who doesn't think that they're not going insane. I don't know anybody who doesn't have really deep, hard emotions right now. If you, whoever you are watching this, is in like the most happiest, wonderfulest, yes, that's a word, awesomest, that's also a word, place in their life, please, I beg you, comment below because I want to know who you are and I want to know what your special secret is. I want to know what the secret sauce is to living your life because right now life is a fucking shit show. Yes, yes. But like I've said before, we have to go through it and it sucks every minute of the day. And let me just tell you something. I literally am moving throughout my day, hour by hour, not even day by day, because there's so much happening that is shifting and changing. It's like crazy. And the fact that I have no control over what anybody else does either. <laughs> so it's like we are the own character, we are a solo character in our own play, and yet we have all these other characters called friends, family, co workers, lovers, um, spouses that we also have to interact in this magical play we call our human life. So clearly, I'm being sarcastic as shit. I'm very good at sarcasm. Oh, I'm so good at sarcasm. Um, and I'm a Leo, so I'm creative. So how about we do a card reveal so we can learn how to manage today's energy as best as we can and what the implementation tool for today will be. All right, here we go. <laughs> Three of clubs. El Cantarito. I just made that, um, I just made a Spanish speaking card, Italian. All right, and the cat, meow. Okay, so these are the cards that we are working with today. All right, here we go, people. Okay, you know, today is a day about learning the difference between isolating and in being independent. So when you're isolating, it's typically because you're fearing something or avoiding something, right? But being independent is still participating, but it's setting boundaries. So today is a day where we really need to come out of our shell or come out of the way we normally typically are, which could be isolation, into a place of independence. Now, there are so many people that fear being codependent on other people, but, you know, first of all, we're being divinely guided um, at this stage in our life, um, which is like great, right? However, um, just because you fear becoming codependent on someone doesn't mean you actually will until you're in that situation and then can assess if you are being codependent. Because there is something also called interdependence, which means you come together, you go away. You come together, you go away, which is actually a really great way to co-create. But if you don't have a really good sense of yourself, you are not going to know the difference and you're not going to know when to apply uh, coming together or needing help. Just because you need help does not mean A, that you're needy and B, that you're co uh, codependent. Okay, so today's implementation is to set boundaries and the boundaries are what's going to be the complete and total key 
to not becoming codependent. And in order to do that, you have to know yourself really well. You have to know what your needs are. You have to know what your wants are and not be afraid to express them. And that's what we're really being called to do in addition at this time. As part of our personal transformation is to know thyself really, really well. So those of you who are afraid of codependence or becoming codependent on somebody, first of all, you gotta try it to see if you are, right? Second of all, if you're finding that you are, then at that point, the key is to set boundaries. You know yourself, or you, hopefully you know yourself well enough to know what your needs and wants are. You set your boundaries. Now, if you already are codependent, then you are being called to become independent, meaning um, completely and totally um, self, I don't know what the word is. It's escaping me right now, but totally and completely on your own with healthy boundaries, okay? So if you're codependent, you need to set boundaries, all right? But really, it's about changing who we are on the inside right now. We are transmuting ourselves. This is being divinely guided. So the implementation tool for today is to set boundaries, okay? Especially if you're codependent. Um, and... That is how you're going to manage today's energy is just freaking set boundaries. Now, it's not going to be comfortable for some of us. And for some of us, it's going to be fine. But um, that is what today <laughs> brings us. And that is how we're going to manage today. All right, guys. All right. What am I always saying to you? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, you can stay connected to me. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I would love that. I love helping people get out of indecision and into their intuition. And you know how you can do that? You can check me out at terryhuberman.com and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Maybe you want a package a little bit longer uh, so that we can work one-on-one. -on -one. That's awesome. I will help you get empowered. You will take those moves and those steps to go forward and stay unstuck. Maybe you just want a reading. That's cool too. Either way, check me out at terryhuberman.com and I'll see you on the flip side.